One of the things that I'm really most proud of is the fact that I'm a student of modeling. I, I, I come to the bench every day and I really, really do believe that you learn something. One of my mentors, in fact, the mentor that um, has taught me so much about modeling is Lou Del Meso. And if you don't know who Lou is, you need to go to Aztec Dummy and check him out. Not only is he a first class human being, but he's a, he, he, he's a ridiculously talented modeler. And uh, I know he would be blushing if he heard me saying that, but it's true. And you know what he taught me? You have to have a turntable. Not just one, but several. And there's a reason for that. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Spurverse, my scale model universe. And let's dive in. Okay, here we are, and uh, today is is all about sort of uh, rigging, really. Um, I'm not going to be showing you the boat. Uh, I'm not going to be diving into details because I want to save that for the reveal. If you're just discovering my channel, welcome. Uh, it's great to have you with us. Please like and subscribe. That's very important to me and to the soul of this channel. But I ask you to go back to the very beginning because this is uh, six of uh, the sixth episode, I should say, of, of this build series. And you really need to get uh, sort of caught up. But uh, for those of you who have uh, endured, <laughs> welcome back. Um, and as you know, this is the World of Wayne Spruverse Challenge. Uh, both Wayne and I are building the same model. And uh, we're sort of taking our own approaches and we'll talk about those and all of our details and challenges and the, uh, the, the incredible story of this boat in our uh, final reveal, which will be on his Thursday live show uh, sometime in February, I'm hoping. Uh, I haven't uh, officially uh, gotten the big thumbs up from Wayne yet, but as soon as I do, we will we'll obviously let everybody know. But here you are today uh, because, wow, we are really coming down to the brass tacks of it all, but there's details, 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 deal, details. And uh, there's also a lot more uh, weathering I can do, to believe it or not. I still want to do some water stains. Uh, I still want to do a little bit of chipping and disfiguration of the hull. Um, and I've noticed some of my, um, my areas where I'm, I'm supposed to be weathered wood. Um, I still want to do some more detail work for it. But today really is all about rigging this thing. And um, I want to show you, this is uh, the boat itself. Now, this is a picture of Bill Weger's buildup of this kit. And uh, I'm not entirely sure if this is the actual uh, photo or model that uh, I found uh, at Wonderfest last year. But... Um, it, it, it certainly is a, a, a beautiful thing, but I'm using it for reference today because you can see rigging, rigging, rigging. Now, there, there is a sort of basic kind of tenant to this. I've, I've kind of studied it and I've looked at the various different filming uh, uh, build, builds, um, build-ups. And, you know, as we've talked about, I've come to the conclusion that this is just a, uh, an absolute pure fantasy of a production team in 1975 who found a fishing vessel named the Warlock and uh, bought it, uh, had it uh, sent over to Martha's Vineyard where this film was made and, uh, and began to sort of go crazy on it. And so they, they did all kinds of things to, uh, you know, to, to sort of make it look like the character it became. And boy, is it a signature of this boat, obviously. It's the final proscenium in the third act for uh, the, the fight against Jaws, you know, man, man, man versus nature, as it were. And so um, <clears throat> one of the things that I've tried to do is... Uh, you know, is think about it from two perspectives. One is from the perspective of trying to, uh, to sort of to build something that I thought was sort of as canon as possible as uh, of, of the of the filming boat. 
Um, and and I, I, if you've watched any of my other videos, I'm, I'm not a canon guy because uh, I'm just not that skilled. And, but I, I always try to do the best I can. But these things are works of art, really, and they're, they're artists' interpretations of things. So, uh, but, you know, everybody should dive in at their own skill level and not feel like they have to reach a certain level. No, do it for the fun of it. Do it for the hobby. Do it for yourself. And, uh, and have fun doing it. But rigging. Um, so rigging is a bit of a challenge on this thing because I don't know if it fe follows any kind of real engineering specs, you know? I mean, I, I don't know, you know? I mean, is, is, is this rigging really legitimately there to hold up the mast or, or is it there just because it looks good? Uh, sometimes I wonder, you know, I look at uh, I, I sort of compared the rigging to that of other boats, and I'm thinking, hmm, I don't know, <laughs> you know. Uh, but anyway, we'll give everybody a pass, and we'll try to rig this as close as we can to the the the, film, the production boats. At least that's that's the plan. Um, I have put on uh, this front rigging uh, piece here. Uh, that's not going to help you, is it? And uh, maybe this does. Um, you, you can see the line here. My, my fingers are touching it. Um, but it's not very, unfortunately, that's, that is not very helpful either. I apologize. Um, but um, I think that, um, uh, you know, hopefully you might be able to see it on the camera. I, I can't see on the monitor whether or not uh, you, can, you can see this, but I'm, I'm hoping you can. But anyway, here is this, this rigging line, and it starts at the very top of the mast, and it comes all the way down to uh, the sides of the boat. Um, and that I can definitely show you. There you go. You can see that for sure. So here it is. And um, what I have done is um, I have tried to the best of my ability uh, to make this look as, as, as sort of detailed as possible. And uh, I, I thought it might be fun to sort of share with you um, uh, how I did that. So, um, what, I, what, I've, what I received from Bill, Bill Wiega, um, and, uh, you know, he's, he, beyond being an artist, you know, I mean, he really went out of his way to try and figure out what this should look like. But um, <clears throat> what he sent us, and I have, um, I have uh, uh, sent uh, everything that I have, by the way, uh, uh, that I sourced from Bill. Um, I broke up the quantities and I sent to Wayne. So he has what I have. So, it, it, you know, there's no aha there. I'm sure there's going to be some other ahas in terms of how we do things. But at the end of the day, we've been pretty awesome about trying to share sourced material with each other and I, and I think that's uh, that's been a lot of fun but um, what we have here are are these uh, fishing lures um, here they are you can get this you can get these at any fly fishing shop uh, and I have been uh, using those and so what I've done is um, I, I have uh, and you, you can see them here. I've attached them to uh, 0 0.50 um, rigging uh, line. And uh, this is from a company uh, in Spain, believe it or not. Um, but uh, this particular roll of, of uh, line um, I, I found online. Um, it's uh, from a company called Art Artesania Latina. Um, so, um, it's, uh, I'm sure in, in Spain somewhere, but, but I think that, you know, uh, it, it's a pretty good representation. And so I've been using that, uh, to run the lines. Um, I like, I like it because I don't have to worry about aging it and, um, it's, it, it's come on pretty good. What I have done to attach those laws to the lines is, um, I, I just simply used some wire. Uh, like this, um, and I'll show you that uh, here. I just used this very fine wire um, uh, that I picked up at uh, my local um, hobby lobby. Um, and so, what I like about that is, is it holds, it takes paint very, very easily, and um, it, it sort of in scale is, is correct. So I wrapped my line around my lure. 
I tied it off with my wire. Uh, I then took a second wire, looped it around the other side of the lure, tied that off to my uh, hook, my eye, I should say, that I had previously attached to the boat. Uh, and then everything was appropriately aged with uh, some grays uh, and some rusts. Um, and I'll do some final touches on that, but I think it looks really pretty, pretty snazzy. Um, so uh, you, you can see that here. And uh, in the final reveal, and I'll also, I'll take some photos for Instagram too, some close-up photos, so you, you can see those. If you've never checked out my Instagram, it's at Spruverse, and I'm pretty good at journaling what I'm doing. Uh, so um, if you want to see something super close-up, that's definitely uh, where you'll be able to see it. And uh, so, so that's pretty good. So that line is in. Uh, the next one I'm going to tackle is, um, I'm going to uh, tackle, there, there is uh, two, two eye hooks that I've put inside uh, this footrest right here. And uh, uh, there they are. You can, you can see them actually very well on this, uh, you can see them right there. And I've got two of those. And those two lines, uh, they're going to come down and they're going to attach themselves to the top of the flybridge right here. And that's those two. And then uh, there are two uh, se separate lines here that are going to come down and they're going to attach themselves uh, to uh, this metal loop. And I have shown you that on Instagram. Um, it's... Uh, close up. Uh, and they're going to come down and tie off here. So that gives me my, my quadrangle, in essence, um, of, uh, of sort of, of the, 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 the total of it. And then the final, final, final rigging is really complicated because it involves, um, it involves uh, actually playing around with uh, this piece right here which is uh, the winch bar. This is the bar that in the film swings over and actually lowers the uh, shark cage into the water. And um, it has got uh, some uh, rigging lines on it uh, that I have uh, very gingerly attached. And it's got a loop here. And I believe it should actually uh, have, a, have one more sort of tie off right here. I'll take another look um, at uh, the model. Let me, let me see. I don't know if there's a better, uh, <laughs> there's a better detail of that. Um, let's see here. I'm, I'm looking to see if there's something I can show you uh, that would be helpful. Um, so um, let's see here. Um, let's see here. That's the front. Uh, this kind of shows it, but not very well. Hold on here. I apologize. Ah, okay. I think that's better. So let, this, in this photo, um, what we're, what we're focusing on here is this piece right here at the back. And, um, if you can see it's tied off now, it's got what appears to be, uh, uh, it appears to be a double line. So, um, those get uh, t attached, um, and uh, there's two of those that go up. Uh, and I think one actually uh, goes to the, um, let's see here, uh, this might be more helpful. No, that's not helping me either. Uh, this might do it. Uh, yeah, so... Um, uh, there is uh, some eyes here, and they're going to attach to uh, the line here. So it's got a double whammy. So it drops and then it goes up. Um, so I'm going to have to tie those off. And then I've got some brass parts up here that aren't sufficiently weathered, and I will work on those. And I've got a little snag at the top here that I've got to clean up. Um, and I've got a little schmutz on my weather vane. 
there. So um, uh, that is basically it. It's it's sort of a quadrangle, really. And and the, the, then there's some other details. I've got some ropes uh, I still have to put in. Um, if you're looking here, um, and I. Um, Let's see if I can get some even better light on this, because for some reason it, it sort of all goes into shadow. But uh, back here against the uh, mast, I've got to put some ropes. Uh, there, there is a bunch of rope that hides uh, some of the, uh, the the sort of the magic of this, as it were, because the mast itself. Um, the, the one that was given to us, and I still have it for uh, prosperity. <laughs> Here it is. Uh, and um, yeah, it's um, not great, you know, uh, but it did have all the various different lines. And so when you stand it up, um, everything was exactly where it was supposed to be. And I miss that. Uh, by uh, about an inch. <laughs> so, so um, what what I what I did was was I sort of just figured, hey, you know, we're going to keep going, um, and it turned out to be quite well uh, actually. But uh, it is a little funky. There, you know, this mast, uh, it's got some blue in it here, and that's uh, appropriate and accurate to the to the filming miniature. I have started to age it quite a bit, um, but I've got a little more to do, and I've got some cleaning up here on the rigging. That you know, there's some things here I don't love. So, uh, but for the most part, um, everything is on that needs to be on, and I'm just concentrating on rigging. Um, I've got some. Uh, I've got a lure here. Let me show you that. Um, this is uh, actually quite quite fun. He found these, and, and this is Bill Weger, I'm saying when I say he. Uh, so, um, you see these? These little fishing lures. Isn't that great? So, what he did was, was he sent me a bunch of those, and um, that is actually going to live, well, this one does live here. And um, it's going to get a rope to it, um, and I believe that's going to go up to uh, to this um, this piece right here, uh, right here. Let me see. Can I get you closer? Yeah, uh, that's not a great angle. I apologize. I'll go back to here. It's going to go up to the end of what I am calling the winch mast or the winch post. Um, so it's going to wrap up there. Um, and what that does is it creates an almost zigzag effect. Um, and you can see that actually on uh, Bill's uh, model. Um, here's actually a good angle of that. You can see what I'm talking about here. This is the, the zigzag um, uh, that, that sort of wraps around it. Um, but it's quite simple. Um, and uh, it's... Um, you know, it, it, it's it, it's sort of all in 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 the mast, uh, and I suspect that cleverly one of the things that they wanted to do was be very sparse about uh, rigging because obviously you had actors uh, running around, and the last thing you wanted them to do is get hooked up in rigging. So I think while it looked important, um, it was minimalized, and that's cool. Um, uh, so, um, you know, right now it's details, details, details. Um, I have, um, let me see if I can show you here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, the chum buckets are in. Um, I've used my Tamiya Clear Red for my blood, um, and that, that's really uh, quite good. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. I've got I've to gotta just clean it up a little bit. It's a little too perfect in places. But um, it, it works really well. Um, but um, I'm, I'm, I'm super, 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 super happy with this model. I mean, it is, it, it's just feeding my soul in so many different ways, I can't tell you. And my gosh, uh, you know, th this is just such a, a, an amazing thing to have in my collection. Um, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't be happier uh, to have this. 
Um, and so I'm really, I'm, re I'm really pleased that I've got it. And so um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sort of continue to um, uh, work on the rigging. And, um, and I'll post a few pictures on Instagram just to kind of tease it. But um, I am, I'm really, really super happy with this, with this thing. Uh, it's the Orca from Jaws and it's just, I mean, I'm just over the moon about it. Um, so I'm going to continue with the rigging um, and, and because it's going to take me some time. Uh, and then I'm going to continue to sort of work on some of the, the other details, clean up some things. Um, I, uh, just to show you, uh, just to talk about a couple of things, um, I, um, I can show you on this one. What, uh, what I have here is this box, and uh, this box in the film uh, is actually four crates. It's four red crates. I don't know what's in them. It's gunk. Um, and then it's covered with a, uh, a tarp, and that tarp has a rope around it. But on the corner of uh, the whole darn thing, uh, you can actually see one of the red crates. Uh, but it only appears in a, in a few frames. So, you know, that's the, the wonky nature of, of this. You know, when, we, when Wayne and I um, uh, were hanging out in, in Corby and, and going through the film, we were stopping and going, oh, look, that detail, look at that detail, look at that detail. And um, so it was, you know, for, for our sort of first pass of the film, it was really pretty awesome. And, and we, we really learned an awful lot. But then as you start to build the boat and you're going through the thing, and you start frame grabbing moments. You go, wait a minute, uh, it's gone. What happened? It's not there. <laughs> and so you don't have this kind of permanent reference. And so, you know, at the end of the day, uh, is someone going to catch the fact that a corner of the crates were red and you could see them? Yeah, I suppose if you wanted to really do that, you absolutely could. And it would be awesome. Uh, I chose not to. So, uh, but anyway, um, my crate is in. Um, I have not uh, put any uh, indication of the hinges here. I've got the brass strips in. Sorry, my, my fingers are in the way. Right here, I've got the brass strips in. Um, but I haven't uh, detailed them out yet like hinges. And I think I'm going to do that. I, I've got I've to get some uh, very thin uh, wire. Um, and I've got to very gingerly uh, sort of uh, attach that. Uh, so that it, it, it sort of sells as hinges because these windows uh, actually could, could flip up. Um, <clears throat> uh, the barrels are obviously in. Um, everything is detailed out. The ropes are detailed out um, from frame grabs. I tried to do the best I could. Uh, here is the anchor, the mystery anchor. Yes, it's, it's actually uh, the correct anchor and it's in the correct position. If uh, you actually uh, remember the scene where the first time Hooper is called out by, um, by Quint to come and tie off a barrel so that he can shoot the shark, and then you've got that wonderful tension line uh, with Hooper going, don't wait for me. And so uh, in that moment, as, you, as the camera, as, as his legs sweep the camera, you see that anchor, it's there. Uh, so I was thrilled to put it in and um, obviously uh, shipped one off to Wayne. Um, I was gonna keep it a big secret and I thought, that kind of sucks. <laughs> I couldn't sleep at night if I didn't think he had the anchor. So anyway, I sent him an anchor. Uh, what I haven't done yet is I have not aged out this uh, chain. Here it is. Um, and it's not dressed correctly yet. I've got to dress that and maybe put a, a, some more rope down there. Uh, but I think I'm going to put some of my metalizer uh, around that just to kind of age it out a little bit. Uh, the pulpit is obviously complete. Um, the rigging lines are in. Uh, the support uh, wire underneath is correct. Um, so I'm really, uh, really happy with that. Uh, it's bent in the correct direction and everything is rigged correctly, but my tie lines uh, uh, have not been uh, painted out yet. Uh, I'm going to do that with, um, I'm using um, Vallejo's uh, Dark Grey. Um, and for those of you who really care, um, here it is, there. It is there. Um, 
70994, uh, they're dark gray. And um, what I'm doing is because um, I tried uh, tying off the lines with a, a finer thread. Um, I, I can't do it. I've put them in helping hands. I've tried to wrap it. I, I just don't have that skill. But I'll tell you a secret. I think that if you had a fly fishing uh, setup where you can actually put them on, uh, there's two little grabbers, and you, uh, you connect the line to it, and then you roll it, I think it would roll beautifully because that's how you tie uh, uh, flies, and they look amazing. So I think as I get more skilled at this, uh, I, I, I'm definitely going to try and do that. But in the meantime, um, as I said, I, I'm just using this fine wire, uh, r wrapping that off, and then painting it out with the gray. And um, I think the effect looks really, really, really good. So um, <clears throat> that's um, a, 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 a mini tour of what I'm doing. Uh, there's a lot of other things to show you, but I'm not going to do it uh, because I want to. I want to show. All, uh, I want to show the boat off in the final reveal. Um, <clears throat> but I'm. Um, I'm pretty excited about it, and uh, I'm going to get going now. Uh, I'm going to continue my rigging, and uh, I know that Wayne and I are going to hook up pretty soon. Uh, today is uh, actually Saturday, January the 22nd of 2022. Uh, for those of you who are curious, so um, um, it'll be next Wednesday uh, that we will um, uh, we'll chat and we'll, we'll, we'll sort of come up with a, a plan for a final reveal uh, and everything else. But hey, you know, until then, um, we, are, we are where we are. Uh, but I wanted to do this particular uh, video only because I feel like it's kind of closure, closure. Uh, but not the final reveal, if that makes a lot of sense. I know this is a little wacky because uh, by rights I should be really showing you the boat. But hey, uh, if you're looking at this right now, you're seeing the boat. Uh, so um, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to just quickly uh, do one, one quick uh, turn here. Uh, just so that you can see it. Oh, um, I haven't got the, uh, the, the the orchid name on the side of the of the um, <clears throat> of my um, of my stand, uh, and my light is uh, is working, but I, I've not turned that on, and I won't until the final reveal now. But if you want to check that out, go to my Instagram account and check it out uh, because it's there. But anyway, uh, so that's that's this camera. Here is this camera for those of you. Uh, who would like to check out the boat? Um, it's uh, again, um, it's in pretty good shape, uh, but I'm going to continue with some of the aging and weathering just because uh, it's a whole lot of darn fun and uh, I want to continue to do it. So that is that angle. Uh, here is this angle uh, again, uh, just quickly. Uh, for all of you who are t checking it out, um, we'll put camera five on one more time just so that you can see it. Uh, interesting color uh, there because um, you can see uh, the colors are uh, a little interesting in, the, in that one, but um, they're, they're, that's not actually the color it looks like in real, real life, but uh, isn't that interesting? Uh, so there it is. Um, and I'm, um, I, I just, I just couldn't, could not be happier. Uh, a quick close up, extreme close up, uh, for those of you, why not? Um, you can see some of the details that we've put down on here. Um, I'm really, really sort of happy with, with how that's all going. Uh, but you can still see there's a little, a little more for us to do. So it's still a little raw. Um, but, um, hey. Uh, why not share this with everybody? But as always, guys, uh, thank you so much. Uh, please, please like and subscribe uh, and come along on my journeys with me. I would greatly appreciate that. Check out the fantastic Wayne Green over at World of Wayne uh, because uh, he is my partner in crime on this project and a very dear friend. And a big shout out to Lou Del Mesa. Why? Because I've learned to paint and you're seeing this on a turntable because of him. 
uh, and I genuinely appreciate all of the advice and help that he gives me um, and uh, it is turning into a really great friendship um, and, I, and I greatly appreciate uh, his talent. Check out the great Lou Del Meso at uh, Aztec Dummy um, if, uh, if uh, you care to because uh, that's where the master lives, my friends. Okay, um, until uh, next time, um, uh, I'm, um, I'm sort of signing off with this, uh, this uh, particular build from this angle. There'll be the final final on World of Wayne uh, if you want to see the final final on this build. Otherwise, the next build that's coming up is, uh, for me, is the Sequest. Uh, Sequest DSV from the uh, 92 television series that I created. Oh, yes. And I'll tell you all about that and some fun stories about how that came to be and uh, why the ship is the way it is and um, what it's made of and why it works the way it works. Uh, we'll reveal all of those details, what it's really supposed to look like, its color, its, we'll do the whole thing. Um, so it'll be fun. And that will be the next build um, probably in uh, two weeks. Um, <clears throat> for those of you who found my live stream, bless you, thank you. Uh, we're going to be try, uh, trying to do live streams at least a couple of times a month, if not more. Um, uh, really, really sort of looking forward to those and getting to know everybody a little better and hanging out with everybody. But hey, until next time, guys, I wish everybody, please, be well, be safe, build something, and I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.